Welcome to African Tales and Stories, where every tale under the moonlight becomes a journey through the heart of Africa. Today, we bring the magic of African folk tales and the wisdom of African stories right to your screen, from the ancient folklore to tales that dance with the stars. Join us as we keep the timeless tradition of storytelling alive. Ready for an adventure? Let's dive into today's story. But before we begin, if you love these tales as much as we do, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to never miss a journey with us. There was a small village surrounded by green hills and farms where Princess Anne lived. Her father, King Charles, ruled over this village. Anne was the oldest daughter of the king. She was a kind and gentle princess who treated everyone well. However, Anne had a big problem she had struggled with all her life. She had a very strong body odor that smelled quite bad. Even as a young girl, she smelled much worse than the other children. This bad smell got worse as Anne grew up. As Princess Anne became a young woman, people in the village started treating her differently. They tried to stay away from Anne because of her bad smell. Behind her back, some villagers made unkind jokes and comments about how stinky the princess was. Mothers with children would quickly pull their little ones inside their houses when they saw Anne walking down the dusty village road. The young girls who used to be Anne's friends would turn and go the opposite direction to avoid talking with her. This made Anne very sad. There were many young men in the village and neighboring kingdoms who wished to court Anne because she was pretty and the king's daughter. However, as soon as they got close to her, they were driven away by her odor. They decided not to pursue her despite Anne's beauty and royal title. This left the princess very lonely. She stopped leaving the palace most days and would simply stay in her bedroom, dreaming of true love and a man who could accept her smelly situation. She imagined a husband who would not care about her body odor, but would love her for her kind heart. But it seemed impossible, and Anne cried many tears over feeling so alone. One hot, vibrant summer day, Anne was in her castle bedroom fanning herself. She left her shutters open, hoping to catch a breeze. Then, Anne heard lively sounds floating up from the village square, joyous drum beating and people laughing. She leaned out her window and saw people dancing around a bonfire celebrating the summer feast day. Anne felt a stirring of excitement and thought she could sneak out of the palace and observe the festivities without being noticed. People seemed so happy and distracted by the dancing. So Princess Anne quietly left the palace and tiptoed to the edge of the village square. For a few moments, no one realized she had joined them. Anne stood in the shadows watching wistfully as girls her age spun fast in their colorful skirts. But soon, a breeze blew, carrying Anne's unfortunate odor through the crowd. People wrinkled their noses, glancing around to find the source of the stench. Then the drum beats and dancing halted as all eyes turned toward the lonely princess. Mouths fell open in shock before twisting into unpleasant sneers. People doubled over, gagging, and whispered behind their hands while pointing at Anne. The carefree joy of moments before had vanished. Anne's eyes filled with humiliated tears. She felt utterly embarrassed and ashamed after being ridiculed while dancing at a village gathering. With tears flooding her eyes, she ran away from the crowd and took cover behind some bushes to hide. She crouched down, trembling behind a tree, hoping no one would find her. But then... She heard the distant, steady beat of a drum, growing louder and getting closer. Fearfully, she peered through the leaves to see who was approaching. To her surprise, it was a smiling young man from a neighboring village, cheerfully playing a hand drum as he walked directly toward her hiding spot. When he reached her, he stopped playing and kindly asked, Why did you stop dancing back there? You looked so joyful and free while you were dancing. Anne was stunned that this stranger had followed her all the way here, especially since he was able to detect her unusual scent. She replied incredulously, You can smell me, and yet you still came looking for me here? Everyone back in my village teases me and laughs at my dancing. The young man responded gently, Don't worry about them. I think you're a wonderful dancer. Please ignore their unkind words and keep dancing with happiness and freedom. Anne was surprised by the young man's kind words. She realized he truly didn't care about her differences. Comforted, she decided she would ignore the cruel taunts of her neighbors and dance freely, just as she wished. The young man started playing a cheerful, upbeat rhythm on his hand drum. 
Anne was unsure at first, but after a moment, she began swaying lightly in time with the music. The stranger's smile grew even wider as he watched her start to move. He picked up the pace of his drumming, playing faster while keeping his eyes fixed warmly on Anne. She could feel that he was truly seeing her, not just her outward appearance, but her heart and soul. For the first time she could remember, she felt completely accepted, just as she was. This realization freed her spirit. She let go of her self-consciousness and began dancing fluidly, her body unfurling into. Drop a comment if you need the part two.